Micropore Technologies Membrane Emulsification and this is the oscillating membrane emulsification the laboratory setup you can see a, a feed tank containing um, water two pumps, a peristaltic pump and a gear pump uh, the gear pump in, injecting the dispersed phase through the membrane and the centre here you can see the membrane system uh, the oscillating membrane system sitting on top of the electric motor and if we focus in on the oscillating membrane system it has components which are shown here the most important one being on the left that is our membrane and uh, the membrane is just about visible as that uh, slightly less shiny bit two-thirds of the way up uh, the, it's on a shaft the, uh, the shaft has an inlet port for the material to be dispersed uh, it goes in from the top there and the shaft sits inside the external shroud which is all stainless steel construction there's uh, PTF sealing rings and the top has a, a guide ring in order to position the central shaft centrally that simply fits on the top and is uh, fixed up with the set screws the rotor with the membrane on it slots, slots inside and the whole assembly fits on top of the oscillating electric motor which is controlled by a control panel it's a uh, touch screen control panel and it's possible to set the frequency and the amplitude of oscillation and here we can see a very gentle oscillation and uh, even lower frequency oscillation here the displacement is not very far the oscillation is uh, more effective than full rotation for the sorts of drop sizes we want these are pulsing out because of the peristaltic pump that was used but they are the drops that are coming out of the system and we also have a, a image analysis system with the images on the left, the digitized image on the right and uh, it's possible then to have a look at the size distributions this is operating at 20 Hz giving us 52 micron uh, oil droplet sizes around about 9 to 10 percent CV and if we take the frequency up to 35 Hz then the, med the mid size, medium size is 38 microns still around about 9, nine to 10% uh, coefficient of variation CV so that's a, a fairly tight distribution here, are, here is an example taken under the, the microscope uh, this one here is uh, a little bit higher and here we have double emulsions it's a gentle system so it's easily possible to generate double emulsions that was PLGA this is polystyrene or styrene droplets formed in the system uh, if you'd like any more information please do contact us we'll be happy to help